So I had 100, uh, 150 subscribers. Thank you very much for this milestone. It means a lot to me. As a way to say thank you, I made a data pack with your suggestions. Alright, so let's just get right into it. The first suggestion comes in from Chris Carbone, suggesting a Star Wars data pack, which is basically just a bunch of reskins. So I'll show you them here. Alright, so... Stormtrooper. <laughs> Sith. Pretty much just all black. Bantha. And then you got your blue lightsaber and red lightsaber. Alright, and not, let's not forget the Jala. Um, Alright, so the Jala is more of a custom mob because it's set to reskin baby zombies, but you sort of have to reskin all zombies. So now they're all baby and they can all... Here, do you want a lightsaber? They can all pick up... They all have the ability to pick up nearby objects. So, you can give your Jawa lightsabers if you want. Next suggestion is... That comes in from Stunt Dog that makes... That says, make water bottles, texture, and air bottle. So if I just... If I search... If I click on the potions tab, you can see... All of potions, not just water bottles. See, very nice. They don't not in them. And you're just drinking a air, and you can tell by the glint. All right, next suggestion comes in from Little Dumpster Socks. It says, "Could you make soda in Minecraft?" Little t Thank you if you do, but you don't have to. Sure. So if we get a water bottle, sugar, and a sweet berry, and then drop them all on the ground, boom, we get a soda. Alright. This is what they look like. Alright, the next suggestion comes in from Hungry Hippo. This is how about a hippo mob? Okay, so let's. They, they can only spawn in savannas, so let's go locate one. Here it is. Click Hello. And now let's see if we can find one. Oh, there it was. Alright. This is what they look like. They're actually friendly to you. Unless you can, unless you're not friendly to them and punch them, yeah, it's not gonna end well for you if you go after Hippo. They have this weird glitch where they like turning invisible, but I'll reappear after a second or two. All right. Put them, oh, the main thing is if, if I set it tonight. Oh. Um. So. Monsters start spawning. The hippo will actually go after. And he's pretty strong. And if you kill him, which is quite hard, he has a ginormous pool of uh, HP. Where is he? Oh, he didn't get anything, but he can. He has a chance to drop leather. All right, so the next suggestion comes in from Mythling888 that says, "Can you add a monster that lives under beds that can snatch players and villagers?" Sure. So I grab a bed. It's it only works in survival. Okay, let survival. I place my dead down. There's a 35% chance the monster will snatch you up. Let's just give ourselves a diamond. Just give herself a lightsaber. All right. And if you don't get kicked out right away, that that means it doesn't happen. So let's see. We sleep for one night. All right. So you just gotta. So we're getting actually pretty lucky with the spawn. Okay. It spawned in. So what it looks like.
and you kill it, it drops absolutely nothing. Now you gotta go back to bed. Alright, the next suggestion comes in from Finding Peace, Losing Pieces, which says, I would like to have two different kinds of pirates on their respective pirate ship having a battle. Is that even possible? Yep, it is. So if I just grab the right materials. And you, you don't have to drop it in water, but it looks better in water. You drop one emerald and one gold block after a second or so. I don't think they got close enough, but... There we go. Alright, we spawned a pirate battle. And it's it's kind of laggy, but you can see the two pirate ships. They can, they can kind of spin around. And they'll have a battle. And after a little bit, one side will win. Oh, never mind. It didn't crash. It was just very laggy, so... We get this loot, and got a buried treasure map, feathers, a book, and a clock. And if you follow the treasure map, you'll find a lot better loot. So it could be worth it, it could not be, depending on what you get. Alright, the next suggestion comes in comes in from Random Fish Keeper 33, which should just add add a dwarf that eats toes. Okay. So if we fly underground, or this also spawns in mountains, there's a great chance of finding a dwarf. Okay. Alright, we found a dwarf over there, as you can see. Alright, and he's already coming for me. So as I suggested, he'll do a headbutt attack, and, and uh, right above your inventory will say your toes have been consumed. And while your toes are consumed, uh, you can see right here you lost two hearts, and your movement speed is... About decreased by half. So you have to live like this. And the only way to regrow your toes is to die. So. Eh, it's not very great. <laughs> you have to live like this. Because your toes are eaten. <laughs> Alright. And then the last suggestion comes in from. Evan Electric Gamer that said. Add a zombie apocalypse now. into the world. It'll say a zombie apocalypse has started. Oh, I don't have my toes. This could be bad. But every five seconds a zombie villager will spawn on you. I definitely need toes for this. But the only way to end an apocalypse is to kill the guys that spawn in. Oh, well, there I go. Yeah, but it'd be very hard to start off, start off a survival world like this. Right, every time you kill these guys, there's a 10% chance that it'll drop a zombie's hand, and you can push F when it's in your main hand to end the apocalypse. Alright, and sometimes when you kill them, you'll get a zombie's hand, and put it in your offhand, and it'll say the zombie apocalypse has ended, and no more zombies will spawn around you. Alright, that is it for the Stata Pack. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and thank you for everyone who commented for these ideas. Uh, they were really fun. So, talk to you next time.